Hi, I'm Debbie from Positive Parenting. Welcome to my website. I'm really glad you're here. I'm not sure what got you here, but what I can tell you is that this site is full of information, hands-on practical information you can use if your kids are misbehaving, and also information about building their self-esteem. So it's all discipline and behavior. For example, I'll tell you one story about my daughter, Michelle who most of my stories are about. She was really challenging when I was raising her. And luckily, because I've had the positive parenting tools, she and I get along great now that she's 23. Amazingly. I'm amazed because there's no way we should get along so good because we did a lot of power struggling when she was young. Anyway, one time I was going through a period of having problems with her not wanting to get dressed for school in the morning. So every morning it was this huge battle of her screaming and not wanting to get dressed and not getting ready and me being late taking the kids to school and being late for work. And so I was trying everything. And you know, people suggest that you get them dressed the night before, and that does work sometimes. And this, and I've tried that, and all the good positive parenting stuff, because I was teaching positive parenting then, so I was trying all of my good ideas, and nothing was working. And then I tried the one that people tell you, well, just take them to school in their pajamas. So I put her clothes in the car, and it was time to go, and I'm like, let's go, and she was in her pajamas. And as we're going out to the car, she's screaming bloody murder and she's crying. And when I was driving to school, I looked in the rearview mirror in the back and she was just frantically in tears pulling her clothes on. And that just did not work for me. I just, I have a, I, I didn't, I didn't like that result. It didn't feel right to me to have her be so scared and so panicked, even though she wasn't behaving. That isn't my goal is to, is to get them so scared that they do stuff. So she went to school that day in tears. I left her there in tears and it was horrible. So the next morning we started having our usual morning battle and I just calmly went into her room and I sat down on the floor next to her and I looked at her and I said to her, I said, you know, Michelle, I know no matter what I say or do right now, there is no way I can get you to get dressed. And I just really, really admire your determination. That's one thing that I love about you is how you are so determined with what you believe in. And I just really appreciate that about you. And I just sat there on the floor, total surrender, total give up, but loving my daughter because I could see that she had a lot of determination and that that was gonna get her somewhere in life one day once she's out of the house. And I probably stayed there about a minute or two, and then I just got up and left. And I wasn't upset. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I wasn't going to keep yelling and screaming and having the battles and, and doing things that made her afraid. So I left the room, and I went out in the living room and started doing my own thing. And five minutes later, she came out fully dressed and ready to go, and we left. And it was fine. And she never did it again. So somehow that moment of surrender just magically shifted the whole situation for us and we started having more peace after that. And for me, that's what I want. I want things that discipline my child without breaking her spirit. That's what matters to me. And I have tons and tons and tons of ideas here at this website and in my store. So for ideas, things, practical, like this is how it works kind of solutions. So I hope you stayed around for the whole three minutes of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And please stay, visit, read, watch, and hopefully buy a few of the, the items on MP3 or my Dial of Discipline. And thank you so much for being here. Have a great day and happy parenting.